Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the Hyperboxing Multiboxer program and its user interface. This is how fast the program starts all the game windows and moves them into your configuration. Compare this with any other software out there. 9.37 seconds. Let's go through some of the features. The program is coded in pure assembler for maximum speed and optimization, which makes it very fast. It works for both retail and classic versions of the game. One click launch of all game windows with pre-configured window setups. The game windows start very fast. Network support for running game windows on different computers. Window setups can be changed while playing without having to relaunch anything. Support for up to 8 monitors on a single computer and unlimited monitors when using the network feature with fully configurable setups. Broadcasts all your keys with a toggle function. Mouse broadcasting regardless of different resolutions for picking the same herb or mining node at the same time. See the mouse cursor in all the windows, which is also configurable as a toggle. Keybind support keyboard, mouse, gamepad and steering wheel, including the pedals. Instant swapping between master and slaves for changing master without the inner space platform, which isn't needed when coded properly. Macro configuration from outside the game, transferable between teams and characters. UI add-on layout configuration from outside the game, transferable between teams and characters including chat windows and chat tabs. Configurable on-screen spectrum analyzer, which reacts to sound and music. Automatic setup of the multi-boxing add-on, EMA both for retail and classic. Fully configurable now playing feature on screen, which supports WinApp, Spotify, YouTube and SoundCloud. This is what the bag looks like. When you loot something, it will automatically be sorted into virtual containers, which makes it very easy to keep track of what you have. You'll never miss anything. These are the chat tabs. The first one displays everything by default. After that one, you have another general tab, which only displays the general chat channel. Next up is the social tab, which displays, say, yell and emotes. The sysinfo tab displays system information and errors. Whispers tab for in-game whispers, as well as battle net messages. The defense tab shows the local defense and world defense channels. The Trade tab shows the Trade Channel Chat. And finally up here, a transparent tab that shows the items you loot. This is what the unit frames look like. You have the Party or Raid and Target, Target of Target and so on. There's also frames for your pet and party pets. This window will alert you with a list of nearby opposing faction players. It produces a clickable list to select the player in the world. These are your buffs, debuffs and auras in a list of bars instead of icons. This window displays the team's current gold, bag space and durability on the fly. Here's the team list with follow indicator if a character stops following for whatever reason.
These are the experience bars, which updates every time a character gains any form of experience. This is the list of quests and quest items for each character in the team, which updates automatically every time a character loots a quest item. And finally, up here you have coordinates, experience, bag space, loot type, gold, FPS and add-on memory usage. The Now Playing feature displays the current song playing. It has support for Winamp, Spotify application, Spotify web player, YouTube web player and SoundCloud web player. The feature works in Firefox, Chrome and Internet Explorer. This is a Spectrum Analyzer. It reacts to both the World of Warcraft sound as well as any music you're playing. It's highly customizable to look exactly how you want it to. Here is the list of add-ons used. All of them works with both retail and classic. I hope you enjoyed this showcase and thanks for watching.